Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to write the equation of the ellipse uh, given the center, the vertex, and the co-vertex. And when writing the equation of the ellipse, we've got to be able to determine what type of equation are we writing when do we write an equation where the major axis is horizontal or a major axis is vertical. So to do that, it seems like I say the same thing for every video. We got to write down what we, we got to graph what we know. So we know the vertex center is at negative 5, 2. So I'm going to go over negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 2. Make a big dot. That's center. Now remember, the major axis, um, what lies on the major axis is the vertices, the foci, and the center. Um, so the vertex, which is one of, the, um, one of your vertices, is at negative, five, negative 10, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2. All right, and your co-vertex is at negative 5, 0. OK. Now remember, I said that the vertices and the, co and the center all lie on this major axis, right? So therefore, the major axis has to be horizontal. And that's huge, because when you have a major axis that's horizontal, that means your a, which I'll talk about in a second, is going to be under the x. So what, I, what I'm pretty much describing is there's two different types of equations for an ellipse. One where the major axis is horizontal, and one where the major axis is vertical. When the major axis is horizontal, we put the a under the x. When it's vertical, we put the a under the y. All right. Now, what exactly does a and b represent? Well, a represents the distance from the center to your vertice, or one of your uh, uh, vertex. Now, I could figure out the other vertex, but I don't really need to. It's just the distance is the same to the left and to the right. So I just need to count you know, how far I go. Or you could just look at the equation and say, well, you went five units, right? It's an absolute distance, because you go five in the negative direction as well as five in the positive direction to find the other vertice. So A is equal to five. B is the absolute distance from the center to your co-vertex, which again, again, is an absolute distance. I go down to, I can also go up to to find my other co-vertice. <clears throat> now, so b is equal to 2. You know, just counting the dots, you can be able to say that. Last thing we need to do is determine what h and k are. Well, h and k represent the center. Okay? And remember, it's opposite x, opposite of h, y, opposite of k. So we look at our center, and we know our center was given to us, which is negative 5, comma 2. So when I'm writing this in, though, I'm going to write opposite of negative 5 and opposite of positive 2. So the equation is going to look something like this. x plus 5 squared over a squared, which is 25, plus uh, y minus 2 squared over b squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, equals 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the equation of ellipse given the center of vertex and co-vertex. Thanks.